Okay, now we are ready to calculate NaS. Okay, the first example here is boron trichloride, BCl3. So notice I've put the B here, and there's only one of them. Remember, there's an understood one there. And there's three chlorines. So when we do our needed electrons, right, needed electrons is N, it helps to know how many atoms of each we have. Okay, remember, everybody needs eight except for these three exceptions. Now, notice boron is one of our exceptions. He only needs six. So when I fill this in, I'm going to put six, and there's only one, so I don't have to multiply by anything. Plus, I've got this chlorine. Chlorine is not one of our exceptions, so he needs eight. Everybody needs eight. But then I have to multiply by three because there are three atoms of chlorine. Then I do my math. Eight times three is 24 plus six is 30. So needed is 30 electrons. All right, available. These are our number of valence electrons. So make sure you have your periodic table that has the valence electrons on them. Okay, so let's find boron. Here's boron. He's right here. Notice he is in group 13, so he has three valence electrons. So I'm going to put three in the available. Plus, I've got chlorine. Chlorine is in group 17, so he has seven valence electrons available. So I'm going to write seven here times three. Okay, and now we're going to do the math on this one. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 3 is 24. All right, shared electrons. Remember, that's where we're just going, just going to subtract available from needed. So here, 30 minus 24 is 6. Okay, this is telling us we're going to share six electrons between these four atoms. And later we're going to learn how to draw these. Okay, next one. Our second example is this hydrofluoric acid, which has one hydrogen, one fluorine. So hydrogen is one of these exceptions up here. He only needs two, and there's only one hydrogen. Fluorine is not an exception, so he needs eight. And again, do your math. Available. Hydrogen's in group one, so he has one valence electron. Plus, I've got fluorine, who has seven valence electrons. Add them together for a total of eight. And again, shared is needed minus available. So we're going to share two electrons between these two atoms. Okay, so next I'm going to have you go to your actual worksheet. It's entitled, let me find mine, this paper right here, Vesper Practice. Notice it has NAS all the way down. You're going to practice calculating NAS for every one of these. Okay, practice NAS. Let me know if you have any questions.